so welcome and welcome back to my channel guys this is jb23 vlog for today's video guys i would like to share how we troubleshoot our main engine starting problem so this is our electronic engine guys i'd like to share it to you how we troubleshoot the starting problem of our main engine so the issue is our main engine has occasionally fail to start without any alarm and the action has been made is to function test all the starting air pilot valve in all cylinder units so from the main operating panel you have to choose maintenance and select which cylinder we are going to test and as you can see there is a start air pilot valve and you have to remove it from normal as you can see guys th that is the normal when you are going to test just remove from normal and then alarm will come and this is how it looks when it is in input and output test and just select the start air pilot valve and from that you can see from the other main operating panel from that you can switch on and off as for testing the operation of the solenoid valve and one more time guys just select which cylinder control unit uh, we have to carry out the input and output test and remove from normal and then from normal you can choose switch on and off as you can see from engine side guys we supply the 7 bar compressed since main engine is in stop position so we'll start from unit number one as you can see guys from the main operating panel when it is switched on it relays some signal to solenoid valve and it pushes the spring to open the air starting valve and once it is switched off the signal is off and the spring is in closed position as you can see guys how it is being tested so this time number three as we have found out number three has no moment even if it is in switch on and off the spring is not in motion no any moment but the signal has received so number three is not working so this is how to test guys the air pilot valve of each air starting valve we have tried multiple times but no moment the signal has been received but as you can see there is no moment as the same as from number one and number two unit now the solenoid valve is off and still no motion so let's proceed guys to unit number four let's wait for the signal from the main operating panel to switch on the solenoid valve as you can see guys let's wait for the signal now signal is on as you can see the spring is in open position just observe the position of the spring and when the signal is off it will return to closed position as you can see guys that's the motion of the air starting valve of this kind of engine so this time this proceeds to unit number five as the same for number four guys now it's an open position now it's off and uh, closing position now so the last unit the unit number six then now it's open position just see the movement of the spring as soon as the signal is switch off now it's working now the conclusion guys is that number three is not working so this is the reason why our main engine has failed to start occasionally so the action has been made 
is to check the solenoid valve cooler and it has been found out that the solenoid valve cooler is defective as you can see guys we changed the cooler and replaced with a new spare so the problem is solved and until here guys i hope you learned something about this main engine troubleshooting video guys and if you are interested for more marine engineering videos please don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe this is jv23 vlog thank you for watching guys stay safe everyone god bless